Hey everyone, Sam back once again, and today I've got another application review for you. This time it's for iOS, and the application can be used obviously on your iPhone, your iPad, and also your iPod Touch. Now the application is called Facebook Cover Design, and it's pretty much what it says it is. If you're up to date with the newest Facebook, it has obviously got timeline, and the big picture at the top is called your cover photo. So what you can do is obviously you can use it on Facebook, use pictures you've already got, you know, and kind of crop it in there, which is all well and, you know, nice and easy to do, I guess. The application I'm going to show you now, it's kind of basically streamlines all of that um, and it makes it nice and simple for you to use. So we'll just load it up first of all, just get straight into it. So when you first do, obviously you can log in and then it's like, right, is that me? So yes, that's me. So basically it's logging me into my Facebook. Um, and here we go. So effectively, it's a camera application, but it's designed specifically for the cover photo. So as you can see here, it is the exact size picture um, of what you actually would require for your cover photo on Facebook. So what I'll do is I'll just bring something in really quickly, so you've got something to look at while I'm showing you what's on here. Yes, Manchester United. Um, and you get three different options. You see the top left-hand corner. So you get the one where you can take a picture and you can actually take a picture, your cover photo, and also take a smaller picture, which can then can be used for your profile picture. So instead of just having, you know, just this picture at the top, you can then have something there, so it looks like it sort of all flows, you know, flows into one picture, which looks pretty damn cool, you know, if I do say so. You can choose your standard one like that, or you can have one where it shows you the whole of the actual photo, and then obviously you can crop it. Now, personally, I'd probably use this one, um, or this one if you want to use that cool little design there. So we'll bring something else in, which don't know why, but I've got a mouse as well. <laughs> Bit of a strange combination, I know. So if I decided, right, yeah, I think that looks pretty damn cool. So all you need to do then is, oops, don't cover the actual lens, Sam, is click take photo. Job done. It's now taking the photo. So at this point now you can move it around. You can actually prefer a bit further like that. You can zoom in. You know, and have it a bit closer. And there you go. So if you're thinking, yep, I'm happy with that. Actually, I'd rather twist it a little bit just to make it a little bit different. There you go. You can have it like that. Click next. This is where the fun comes in. You can now add filters and effects. So you get original, which is obviously your standard photo. You can then put a say, smoke on there, which gives it a cool looking smoke effect. You get retro. Obviously, you get split. And you get some of these other ones. Now, you don't get all of these for free. You do get some of the basic ones. But as, the, as you go further along, you know, you do have to start paying for them. Now, it's only a one-off charge. It's an in-app purchase. And it's only 6 to 9 pence or 99 cents if you're in America. Which, got to admit, I mean, I've got the full application here. And for 6 to 9p, it's worth it just for these, you know, cool looking effects. Now, my favourite one, which I'll show you, is called Hell. Which I think looks pretty damn cool. I think you'll agree. It's worth to me. It's worth it just for that awesome effect there. And if at this point you decide, and actually I don't want that little box there, I just want to take a normal picture, you can take it away. Then you can go ahead and do that. So if at any point in the actual process of you know doing the editing, you're thinking, um, actually yeah, I want the box there. You can have it there, and you go actually no, I'd rather don't want the box there and use your normal profile picture. So it gives you a lot of you know flexibility. So let's say I decided, right, yeah, I like that. All you then do is click next again. And here we go. You can then edit again, so you can go back a stage. You can create a brand new photo. You can click save. So if I click save, it saves it to your you know, library. or upload it. So if you're logged into Facebook, upload it straight to Facebook. Job done. Off you go. How easy is that? So we'll just go back to new photo. Um, instead of actually just using the actual camera, you can use other things if you know if you've already got them as well. So if you've got already pictures on your phone, you can just use your camera roll. You can use Facebook if you're logged into your Facebook. You can log into your Picasa. Hopefully you can see that you can log into Flickr and Photo Book. Last but not least, you can log into Instagram. So any of those services, if you use them, you can log straight into them. Job done, nice and easy, and use those photos. So if I decided actually, let's use the camera roll, so We'll go all the way down, and let's say I want to use, I don't know, this picture of me. They decided, yep, I want to use that. Obviously, you can move it around, you know, make it a bit different, you know, twist it, I don't know, whatever you want to do with it. 
click next and uh, we want to add some condensation to it yep happy with that next job done so again any pictures you've already got on your phone you can actually use this and you know edit them in the application which I think is pretty damn cool very nice and fast and, and I guarantee that you can take a picture upload it you know and get it edited and put those kind of filters on quick in this application can it's all about convenience with Facebook cover design let's be honest for six to nine pence if you want to get all those extra filters if you don't want to get those extra filters you can just use the application free of charge so you can't really go wrong with it so if you want to check it out there's a link in the description you can go check it out um, but if you've got any questions with regards to it I'm open to questions leave them in the comments below if you're not subscribed already don't forget to hit that subscribe button and yeah follow me on Twitter which you should be just about here is at Sam J Pullen um, I do tweet out quite a bit uh, all my other links in the description as well. Anyway, people, I'm going to get off, and I shall see you in the next video. Cheers, everyone.